I think gonna be a tough one. Roger started the season probably one of his best starts ever. So I hope I can keep the role running. Uh, it's the first time I've beaten Rafa three times in a row, so might as well make it four right now. <laughs> gonna be a big challenge for me and I hope to be ready to compete better than what I did last week. One of the greatest rivalries in tennis was set to be renewed in Florida at the final of the Miami Open. The 37th meeting between Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, a repeat of the Australian Open final, and the fierce competitiveness didn't disappoint in the first few games. There were a few break opportunities in set one, but it was Federer who was beginning to find his range. Federer held his ground and delivered something a little special. Well, this guy on the half volley is just insane. The pressure from the Swiss star was relentless in game eight. Finally, an opportunity. It's taken 45 minutes, but Roger Federer makes the first breakthrough here in the final. And there were no mistakes when set points arrived for the Swiss star. And Roger Federer takes the opening set here in the final in Miami. Federer with the first set and the Australian Open champion maintained his composure as the second set got underway. Oh, lovely feel. Nadal was a long way back to be fair and he wasn't lacking for touch. Midway through set two, Nadal was under pressure again. Great coverage from Nadal. How good was that? And in game 10, again, a breakthrough for the Swiss star. Got it. Federer breaks. And will serve for a third Miami title. Nadal must respond before it's too late. Federer in control and on his way to an incredible third title of 2017. Roger Federer completes the sunshine double. He wins in Miami for a third time in his career. It's a 2017 that surely even he couldn't have dreamed of. Masters title number 26 in the bag. He is dominating the tennis world right now. amazing to to win in the world's Miami back to back um, for the last time I was in the finals here I think it was 11 years ago against my coach now Ivan Lubicic so it's um, it's been quite a journey here in Miami sometimes I couldn't play sometimes I didn't play sometimes I wanted to play but couldn't and here I am now in the finals and beating my my old rival from ever you know Rafa where it all started back here in 2004 so what a great atmosphere it was again and um, you know I played and produced some great tennis which I'm, I'm surprising myself, so I'm, I'm happy I kept it going and I uh, didn't think I had it in me is that I had so much energy left in the tank, but that's why I definitely need a break right now. So the dream start to 2017 continues. Roger Federer, Miami Open champion for a third time.